<laughs> we're looking at the environmental issues in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and we're also collaborating with girls from Nairobi, Kenya. It's been a lot of fun to go through this and meet a bunch of other girls that are really passionate about um, the arts and science. It's really cool to meet people like that. We researched a bunch of environmental issues in Minneapolis and then we chose the one that we were most interested in, basically just trying to find solutions to our everyday problems. I think what's been the most challenging is kind of like figuring out how to make our ideas like tangible and how to like try to get other people to see what we're trying to say. And also I think a lot of people don't take teenagers seriously, which is another problem that we have to face trying to fix something in our community because a lot of people don't see teenagers as being people who can change the world. Here in Girls in the World we learned how to like come up with ideas, like perfect the idea with design thinking and then like do it. Design thinking. Design thinking. To me, design thinking is more of a thinking with a really set purpose. It's like the normal thinking process, except it's more creative. How we started was like interviewing people. Using collaboration. Idea. Weeding out your ideas and going, is this, is this gonna work, is this not going to work? Prototype and then going back and revising multiple times. Making do with what you can to find a solution. In the end, I think it's so much more productive than normal thinking, and you can really go outside the box and make these amazing discoveries. It's really cool to just try and empower other girls to go into areas of STEAM, and I really like that part about this program. STEAM is science, technology, engineering, art, which is added, and math. And what you don't see is a lot of women in those fields, and I feel like if we come together as a group, we're able to express ourselves and become one and basically take over the world, <laughs> or design the world. Design the World has done a really good job. The biggest takeaway that I've had is I've gotten to learn more about art. I'm more of a science kid, so I know a lot about science and I'm good at science, but I haven't been very good at art. So it's cool to see how science and art can tie together. I'm really excited to bring about the knowledge of what pesticides are really harmful to bees and how we can protect them. We couldn't create something that would have an instant impact right away with our short amount of time that we were given and the resources. So we thought creating something that would help bring awareness to it would help bring more people to our project and it would create the movement going even after we finished. After this project, I hope that we bring back our knowledge that we learned here about design thinking and that our solutions for the environment. This is like a real thing that affects our lives now. And if we don't do anything about it, will later become a bigger challenge that is more complicated. I care especially because it's Girls Design the World. I just hope that it sparks something up, especially in girls or young people, that we can actually be the change that we like want to happen. We together will be able to design the world. <laughs>